Hello, science people. Today I want to talk to you about four words that we use in marine biology to describe organisms. They are plankton, benthic, sessile, and nectin. So let's start with the first word, plankton. What is it? Is that plankton? Is plankton a maniacal character from the cartoon SpongeBob? That's not the kind of plankton that we're talking about. Plankton in marine biology is any organism that drifts in the ocean. It means that you're not strong enough to swim against the current. So maybe you can swim, but if you're not strong enough to go against a current, then you count as plankton. Like sea jellies or jellyfish. They do swim, they're pulsating and moving around, but if a strong current comes by, there's nothing they can do about it. They just get pushed around with the current. So jellyfish can, are considered plankton. Any microorganism that is floating around in the, or, in the ocean counts as plankton. So what is plankton from SpongeBob? Well, plankton from SpongeBob is supposed to be a copepod. A copepod is a crustacean that has one single eye, just like the character from SpongeBob. And yes, copepods do count as plankton. They can swim with their two front legs, but they're not strong enough swimmers to go against a current. So copepods are plankton. Our next word is benthic. A benthic organism is any organism that spends the majority of its time on the sea floor. And so these organisms sometimes can swim, sometimes they can't, but they spend the majority of their time on the sea floor. So a lobster would count as a benthic organism because a lobster spends most of its time crawling around. Lobsters can swim, but for the majority of the time they're walking. So they are considered a benthic organism. To go even further, our third word is called sessile. Sessile is a benthic organism that is stuck to the sea floor. So like a sea anemone, a sea anemone sticks to a rock and it stays the rest of its life stuck where it placed itself. And so a sea anemone is benthic, but it's a step further and we call it sessile. So it's a sessile organism. Any sessile organism is one that is stuck to the ocean floor. Now, it doesn't technically have to be the ocean floor. It could be a rock. It could be the pier. As long as you are glued and stuck somewhere, then you're considered a sessile organism. Our fourth word is nectin. Nectin is the opposite of plankton. Nectin is if you are a strong swimmer. So most fish are considered nectin. Nectin means that they're strong enough to swim against the current. I can't wait to teach you more about planktonic, benthic, sessile, and nectonic organisms in marine biology. I would like to give a special thanks to artist Brandon Swafford, an old science student of mine who provided the illustrations for today's video.